Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last part, I messed up, failed a couple of missions, but we also recruited some new members to the team and we're going to check those out before we do anything else. So let's summon Chimeco. Welcome to the assembly. Let's have a look at our new members. So we've got Dewey the Surskit, who's still currently on the team. Has Swift Swim. Level 11, that's pretty good. Then there's Psyduck, who did survive, even though she got knocked out in the dungeon, which is good. Level 9, so a little bit behind, but we could still add her to the team if we wanted. Has Damp and Cloud 9. That would be good when weather comes in, and if anything wants to explode. And then the surprise of Whooper, who joined the team, who is level 1. Okay. But she also has Damp and Water Absorb. Nice. Now, I'm a big fan of Wooper, so I'm actually willing to commit to leveling this Wooper up, even though she's only level 1. So, I'm going to put her on the team. Dingly ding ding! Call in Wooper to active duty. May your exploration go well. Right then. So, that puts us at a nice... 4 Pokemon team. And I have an idea of what I want to do in this part to level up Wooper, since she is so far behind. And that's go to the Marowak Dojo. But before we do that, I'm going to put all my items away in storage, because that's what Marowak told me to do. Okay, here we are. I put all my items away, so it's time to get started. Welcome to the Marowak Dojo. Train yourselves to become better explorers. The entrance to the training mazes is up to the right. I have to tell you one thing, training mazes aren't like ordinary dungeons. There's this icky part, you see. Oh yeah, we've read this. Did I not need to talk to you? Yeah, okay, we keep the new money and items, that's great, that's great, okay. I guess we didn't need to talk to you, alright. Oh, here we go. So this, um, this is quite similar to the first game, I guess. Each dungeon has different types of Pokemon in. Now we have a fighting type, an electric type, and two water types, so we're pretty well covered for type coverage. I tell you what, I think the rock water maze would be a really good place to go, actually, since we have type effectiveness against all of that. If you enter here, all the items in your treasure bag will be lost, that's fine. Will you enter even though all your items will be lost? Yes, I don't have any items. Okay, rock water maze. Train further towards excellence. Ugh, more great music. Look at this squad! Oh, and there we go, Wooper leveled up. Good timing, I leveled up! I kind of wanna... yeah, we'll do it like this so that Wooper is... not at the back. <laughs> oh, okay, it did like no damage. Oh, and we missed. And Wooper levels up again, nice. This is going to happen a few times, I imagine. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep Wooper not right at the back of the party, if at all possible. Because that's what happened to Psyduck when we were in the dungeon last time. What's this? It's an Omanyte. And a Kabuto. Ah, oh, man. Another miss, really. Okay, well, we're just going to force palm everything then. Level 4. Level 5. Learn Mud Sport. Okay, let's turn that off, actually. I don't want Mud Sport on. That's of absolutely no use to us right now. Mud Sport. Off. There we go. This music is great. So I just want to thank everybody for the feedback and support on the last video. I know I messed up real bad, but thank you for leaving some advice, some feedback, and some suggestions for Pokemon nicknames. Someone did say that I won't be able to re-nickname my Pokemon, or that at least they think that I can't, which is a shame. But now I have a big long list of Pokemon nicknames and ideas for nicknames. So hopefully no new Pokemon will go without a nickname. Nice one, Dewey. 
Oh, there's another one there. I'm just gonna kind of fight everything so that I can level up Wooper. That's the intention of going into this dungeon. That's why I haven't gone down the floor yet. Okay, we got an Orenberry there. Also, we get to farm items, which is nice. And there we go, level seven, catch him right up. Something stirring. What's that? That doesn't give me a good feeling, if I'm completely honest. An escape orb, an orenberry, and the stairs. But I still want to check out some more of this floor, see what there is. Another one, level nine. Learned Mudshot, nice. I seem to remember that these dungeons had bosses in the first game. I'm wondering if they still do. I hope they do, because that's pretty cool. Oh, that's two Pokemon. That is more than one. Oh my goodness. Oh, I goofed, I goofed. I did not mean to move that way. Oops. Ah, man, that was silly. I meant to take a step diagonally, but it's not too bad. Ah, you couldn't get through. But one must try and try again in the face of failure. That's how everyone grows up. I'll try harder. I expect you to do the same. We'll all try harder. Well, even though I messed up horrendously there, Wooper did level up to nine, which is pretty good. I think we can start taking Wooper on actual missions now. But I don't think we're going to get around to doing actual missions in this part, because we've got a lot of busy work to do. We've got some shopping and things like that that we need to do. Maybe we'll get to some missions. We'll see. Regardless, we have shopping to do. What have you got for us, Kecleon? Oh, loads of gummies. Blue, green, pink, and red. I don't really have a use for any of those, though. Now, we lost money because we got knocked out in Waterfall Cave, which is a little annoying. But, wow, violence. He maximizes attack and special attack. That's pretty cool. That could be really useful, actually. I'm going to buy one of those and keep it as an emergency item. Let's see what pink Kecleon has. Escape orb, escape orb, faux fear orb. And explosion. Makes the user blow up in a huge explosion, inflicting damage on all Pokemon within a two tile range. It also destroys walls and items within range. Wow. And <laughs> nobody can learn it. I don't think I'd want to teach that quite yet. Okay, now let's get some items out of storage so we don't go running into a dungeon without anything. I'm gonna get a couple of Max Elixirs. Since we have plenty of them. And we want a held item for each of our Pokemon. We want special bands for Wooper and Dewey. And power bands for myself and Omnis. Other than that, I think having some apples would be good. And some Oran berries. Oh, of course, I need my Sky Blue Bow. I don't want a power band. I don't need a power band. I want my Sky Blue Bow. We're going to get this orange gummy out as well. Keep our spirits up on this one. What will we find this time? Oh, it's so cool that I get to see my own Pokemon, my team members here. I really like this place. Welcome to the fresh and friendly Spinders Juice Bar. Which ingredient shall I use? Let's use the orange gummy. And give it to Ekla. I've got a good feeling about this drink. Okay. An indescribably wonderful flavor, a special blend for the discerning Pokemon. Ekla's IQ went up significantly. Ekla's defense rose one. Huh? What? IQ increased two. Can I get you anything else? Not right now. Have a great day. Thank you, I will. And actually, while we're here, let's see if we can do some recycling now. Let's see, I want a prize ticket. So let's select some of our junk items and do that. 
like this mix elixir, for example. Uh, the cross eye seed, the vial seed. We just need one more item. Probably never gonna use the roll cool orb, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, that should do. Will you recycle these four items for this prize ticket? Yes. Thanks for recycling. Here's your prize ticket. Let's redeem it. Which color should I pick? Hmm. I'm gonna pick red, because I played red rescue team. Okay, red then. Is it a win or is it not? That's right. Is that so? That's not too bad. Well, here's your consolation prize. We got the scanner orb. Hey, that's pretty good actually. I think the scanner orb detects items, right? Yeah, it locates items. A sensory item that reveals the location of all items on the floor. Well, that could have been worse, I suppose. I'll take it. Nice. Okay, so continuing on with our busy work, we're going to head down to the beach and see if there are any bottles down here. Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. I think that's pretty much all the busy work I needed to do around town, so I guess now's a good time to go and pick up some missions. Oh look, it's Team Skull. Hi. What have we got here? So let's see, we did some Waterfall Cave missions before. But there's only one here. And we currently have... Yeah, we have two Waterfall Cave missions that we can't complete, so I'm thinking we probably pick up a mission in a different area. I wonder, maybe we can do a C rank? The one that we tried was a B rank, and it went horribly wrong. But at the same time, I think... We're gonna, we're gonna pass on those for now. I'm just not quite confident that I'll be able to do them yet. So let's get these two drench buff missions then. We're certainly taking it a little bit easier today, but that's fine. Sometimes you gotta. All right, off we go to drenched bluff. All right, nice. We got a blast seed. So let's see, we're looking for a yellow gummy and searching for a starly. Oh, hello, Lilip. Hey, nice, I leveled up. Oh, Omnis leveled up. Omnis can learn a new move. Spark, yes, finally an electric type move. Excellent, that's so good. Right then, we can get rid of Leer because I don't think we ever really use Leer. Excellent, I leveled up! Nice, so let's uh... Let's put charge back on now. So Omnis should be able to combine charge and spark to do a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Wow, that critical hit. Very nice. Let's take this Petra Berry and move swiftly along. Now I'm wondering, because I have four members in my team, am I going to be able to recruit any Pokemon here? I have a feeling probably not. Maybe it's best to travel with only three members so that I have the opportunity to recruit Pokemon. If anyone can confirm or deny that for me, that would be fantastic. Ah, missed again. Hey, Anarith wants to join your team. Will you accept Anarith as a member? Yeah, sure. Let's give it a nickname. Okay, this has pretty much no connection to the fact that it's an Anorith, but we're gonna go with Todd. Thank you for your suggestion, Abs. Welcome to the team, Todd the Anorith. So we have to send one back to the guild. Let's send Todd back for now, because I'm quite happy with the team we've got. But that's cool, a new recruit, great. All right, we've reached a destination floor and I can see that yellow gummy right here. 
Jingling picked it up. Okay, that answers my question from a couple of videos ago. Hey, I leveled up. Nice. So, it would appear, yes, enemies can pick up quest items. Oh, is my... Yeah, it would appear my uh, inventory is full. Let's just eat this apple then. Yeah, we found the yellow gummy. We completed a mission. Let's continue exploring, because we do still have one more to do. Hey, Lilip wants to join the team. Yes! All these recruits. Another suggestion I had in the comments was to give them nicknames that resemble the names of the Pokemon or their evolution. So we're going to go with... Crepe. Crepe the Cradilly. <laughs> Crepes are delicious. Anyway, we're gonna send Crepe back to the guild. Loads of new recruits, that's cool. We'll check these all out uh, once we're done here. Nice spark. And we've reached a destination floor. Here we're looking for a Starly, I believe. Oh, there's someone behind us. It's a Shellos. We don't have Shellos yet. Maybe we can recruit Shellos as well. Not that one, but maybe one of the other two that are here. Yeah, Whooper grew up. Okay. Got some berries here, and here's Starly. Yeah, you found Starly. Thank you, I'll see you at the guild with your reward. And we will do that right now, because we're done here. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you for getting me the yellow gummy. Please accept this 1500 poke. Thank you for finding Starly. To show my thanks, I want you to have my sky gummy. Okay. And we got 15 points for that. Nice. Hey, Skuntank and the rest of Team Skull are here now as well. <laughs> nice. Let's get some sleep and make tomorrow another good day. We just had dinner, but I could go for some more food. My belly will never get full on grub like that. All right. The guild members have all gone off to bed. Let's go find it now. Huh? Find what? What else? The guild's food stock. We'll find the food and give ourselves a proper feast. I like that thinking, Chief. Okay, let's get to it. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. We're probably going to get in trouble for this, aren't we? <laughs> Good morning, Omnis. Ah, you two. Your task today is to obtain stock to replenish the larder. Larder? You mean go get some food? Correct. We inspected the larder this morning. For some mysterious reason, the guild's food stock has dropped sharply all of a sudden. Furthermore, our entire stock of perfect apples has disappeared. That was the only item to get completely cleaned out. Perfect apples? What are those? Come on, Omnis. They're very big and very delicious apples. But more than that, they are the Guildmaster's favorite food. If there were no perfect apples, the Guildmaster would... Um... The Guildmaster would... Uh... Go on. If there were no perfect apples, what would happen to Wigglytuff? The Guildmaster would... Yes, that's what would happen. That's why I am begging you two to go get some perfect apples. Uh, what did he just say? I didn't hear. It'll drive me crazy not knowing. But, oh well. Sure, we'll go get some. You can count on us. Good. Perfect apples can be found deep in apple woods. Now listen, this may seem like a simple errand, but it's a crucial job. After all, this is about the Guildmaster's... Uh, so please don't fail. Okay. Let's keep doing our best, Ekla. Whoa ho ho, looks like they're going out foraging for food. 
That's because we feasted last night. A thankless task thanks to us. Ha <laughs> <laughs> let's mess with them. Oh, come on. Give us a break, guys. Well, we're going to have to go into the Apple Woods in the next part. I know this part was a little bit of busy work and a lot less intense than the last part, but sometimes that needs to be the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.